Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Jude and I'm on to have an it. Today, I'm going to show how to analyze 3 GCS drops KPI. That's voice drops. You know, we have data like PS drops, HS drops, but today, we are to pay more attention to drops on voice or CS drops, okay? So, for us to understand this, we're going to um, start with what are the things that causes CS drops in 3G. First is instability. That's when the site is not stability. The availability on the site is not up to 100%. Second is if there are soft and other issues. Third is missing or open synchronization issues drop due to that this. I'm actually going to be explaining this using um, Ericsson case study. Um, and that's talking about Ericsson's tool. Well, it's, it's the causes are the same for all vendors. The only thing is the counter might not be the same. Okay, so you've got a counter that shows instability in Ericsson. They count a different a different name for the same counter showing instability in Nokia, Huawei, and the rest of it. But then they are all showing the same thing. Okay, that's what I'm talking. About, I'm saying. So once you know these points, then you've got to check countdowns depending on the kind of vendor you're working for. So in Ericsson, this is actually the counter for sites that are having instability, which is not as a result of being locked by anybody. This is the counter PM said that I'm also for if it is manually locked, this is the counter. Okay. So Whenever a site is having hardware problem or is having transmission issues or any other issues, it surely leads to availability or instability. So that's going to cause serious drops. People are going to be having drop call whenever they want to make call via the cell. So um, I have a case here whereby a particular site is having instability and that site is um by the way i got this from ericsson bio so you, once you pull your values then you start doing your pivot okay so og0840 is the site having very serious instability the stability level is not 200 percent this is 80 this is 60 so you can see the size is high, so this is going to cause high sales drop, right? That's number one. Number two, sites that are very close to it, trying to hand over to it, are going to be dropping call as well. That's that's when you have soft handover issues. So, looking at this map, this is the site I'm talking about, and this is actually the cell, the second sector of this site, which is. Uh, second sector is actually facing the site so this I expect that whenever there is a handover attempt from this cell the second center of this site to OG80840 it's gonna drop alright so if there is a drop on this side but there is no instability issue on this side I can easily check if a neighbor site is actually having instability so looking at this picture um, now this, I also put, I also put value for um, 135, OG135, which is, okay, this is not really a serious instability on OG135, OG135 is also dropping call, so what could be the problem, alright, so you can check soft and other issues since we have discussed flat from our google earth that this site is having instability even if we didn't discover when i pull all the different uh, counters for instance i mean on this i can put the counter for soft and other issues this is the counter okay you can see that there is is pegging and this is for second sector there is a 135 h so when you check that second sector which of the sites is it facing you can also check the stability of the sites so you can quickly conclude that the reason why this is dropping is because 
helps you stability on the neighbor size. All right, missing neighbor. If a cell is missing, it's also going to cause um, in a drop call. In Ericsson, you can do WNCS. There are several tools you can use to do WNCS. I mean, do a neighbor audit to check which neighbor is actually missing. That is not covered over here. Uplink synchronization issues. Cells that are having poor coverage from uh, UEs that are having poor coverage from the cell will always drop the call. So if uplink synchronization issues is uh, pegging in Ericsson, this is actually the counter that shows um, uplink synchronization. All right. So if this counter is pegging, you suspect that you can check the if the site is overshooting by checking the propagation delay is overshooting then you can doubt it. Means it's covering a lot of UEs at a very long distance and they are having poor coverage. Finding it difficult to connect to site. That's after you have excluded every other um, courses then you can check this. All right. That's always dropped due to order which may be pegging because of every other reasons. Maybe there's an external interference and the rest of them. Okay, so these are different counters you can check whenever there's uh, CS DCR issues. All right, thank you, and Mr. Jude, you can check me out on all these uh, social media. If those of you that are calling me, you only want to donate to this, you can use this detail. Oh, don't forget to visit this my um, YouTube channel for more videos on KPI and the rest of them. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.